I think I'm gonna make a whole playlist about testing hotel rooms. This happens to be one of the better hotel rooms I've ever stayed in as far as the performance goes. So we're gonna be testing pressures today because this one has like some interesting things going on. As far as carbon dioxide goes, this room has never gone above, I keep this on my backpack all the time, about 800 parts per million, um, which is awesome. That means that a lot of the breath byproducts and the things that people in the floors below me, because it's winter time, the floors below me are off gassing and it's, you know, rising up through the building and then kind of collecting the upper floors. That is not a problem here. And I've had that be a problem in even like four story hotels. This is a 41 story hotel. I am on the 21st floor right now. And the first thing that I noticed when I came into this uh, room is that when you walk into the bathroom, you hear this. Sounds a little bit like an, like an airplane in flight. And what it is, is that right there. Here's what it sounds like close up. So that is an exhaust port. Now it is in the wrong place. There's the shower. And this is the other corner of the room. Um, so it'd be better if this was in the shower, but that's pulling pretty hard. Uh, let's find out how hard it pulls. There's a really hack way of testing a bath exhaust vent where you use a square of toilet paper, but you can see that. <laughs> that's not gonna work for us. We can try the uh, less often workable test of a washcloth or the in-room dining menu. So a static pressure probe isn't gonna hurt your normal pressure measurements. Like if it wasn't here, I'd be getting the same readings. This also though helps for turbulence, like what we just did with the bath exhaust vent. So I'm gonna drop the end of the hose with or without that static pressure probe on it in there. And we can see that when we close this room off, it's a negative nine pascals. That's way past uh, the, the normal limit. Now that room is supposed to be a depressurized zone. So what that tells me is that uh, probably the odors and the steam in that room would not come out here, even if the door is open that much. So that's a good thing, but we do not need that much flow. So I'm gonna come in here and just try and give the people in the lower floors a little bit more, a little bit more exhaust. And we brought it down to negative three and a half. All we have to do is to keep this room depressurized when the door is closed. That is a perfectly fine number. It could be less than that even, it could, as long as it's negative one even, that'll make sure that the steam and the odors in that room don't come out here. Now, halfway up any building is the best place to be because it's near what's called the neutral pressure plane. On a day that's 20 degrees outside, kind of roughly you're looking at about four pascals of pressure buildup per floor because warm air rises. On, in the summertime, you'll have a less of a extreme temperature differential between inside and outside, so there's less of a, of a stack effect. But now this is like kind of design day, perfect day to test this stuff. I'll take the end of my static pressure probe. It doesn't have to be on there again. But uh, put that outside, and I can see that the pressure outside with reference to inside is almost zero. Now this window is open a tiny bit, but this would be a very different number if we were low or high in the building. This means that the air from outside might come inside. If I open the window here, fresh air might come in from outside, fresh. We're in Chicago, it's probably a little bit polluted. Um, if I was low in the building, it would whoosh into the room. Uh, and it would be overpowering. On the top floor, if I opened a window, no air would come in because all the air is going out. So I just highly recommend if you wanna start testing things, test everything. Take the test tools with you because seeing what we're exposed to, what you have been exposed to, and what's been going on in your life before you started testing, gives you a lot of perspective and starts making you think, oh, it's not so bad at my house. So don't worry so much, but do test because like, you know, doing science is how science works. You do it, you don't read about it. Make sure that you comment below if you have anything else to add about uh, other things you'd like to see in hotel rooms because I, I do happen to be in them. I'll be on one next month in Las Vegas for the Builder Show. Tune in next time.